always been a supporter of Donald Trump. I have stood by him with a lot of bullshit. And I still support him for the 2024 primary. But guys, I do have to admit one thing. This type of shit that Trump's campaign or Trump himself is doing is making it harder to support Donald John Trump. Look, I understand that he, we're still a couple of years away from the elections, but this is his focus right now. If you don't know yesterday and a couple days prior, Trump was teasing a major announcement. A lot of people thought, okay, this is probably gonna be something good. Well, guess what? Some people thought it was, you know, some kind of ballot harvesting operation, maybe some kind of endorsement for the RNC chair, something. Maybe a VP pick. Nope. This is what it was. A freaking NFT garbage. Yeah. He announced an NFT collection, a digital card collection. Are you shitting me with this? And this isn't like, you know, directly going to the campaign, all right? This isn't like a neat gimmick that somebody like Blake Masters did. You know, yes, it's a big investment, but it was something cool, and it went right to the campaign. From what I can tell, this garbage digital card collection isn't even going towards the campaign. It's going presumably right into Trump's wallet. Now, I love Trump. He's one of the best presidents we've had in decades. But this type of shit, I mean, what was always Trump's strength was marketing. Marketing and promoting policies. And in fact, when he did enact policies, they were relatively popular. But lately, Trump's strength is starting the weekend. I mean, you're teasing this major announcement of a digital card collection. But that's not the only thing that pisses me off the most. There was a second thing that got released, and not a single person's talking about it. Why? Because Trump said nothing about it. He never teased it. This. Trump, an hour after the digital card collection, says he'd ban government officials from labeling speech as misinformation. That's just the first part. But he released one of the best platforms for freedom of speech, big tech, etc., that any candidate has released in a few years. But guess what? Nobody's talking about it. It's essentially saying the government has no business labeling anything as misinformation. Anybody that does, you're fired. <laughs> Funny. But this is good. When Trump is focused on issues, he is unstoppable. That's why I said his announcement speech and his last speech before the 2022 midterms, they were strong. They focused on issues that matter to voters. I mean... If he would have run on stuff like this, you know, preventing the government from essentially censoring information, that alone would get so much support for his campaign. But guess what? He focused more about this freaking NFT crap that nobody gives a shit about. So that's my big frustration with Trump right now. He's not focused on the issues that matter to voters. And this has been a disaster. This is a PR disaster, what happened. I mean, you even got Biden mocking Trump for this garbage NFT crap that's not even going towards his campaign. And you want proof that this Trump is the weakest version of Trump if he stays like this? Look at his approval rating. And I'm not talking about this January 6th crap. I'm talking about in what I consider to be the strongest version of Trump, 2019 Trump. You could make the argument 2016 Trump is stronger, but in my opinion, in late 2019, very early 2020, this was the strongest version of Trump we have ever had. That's my opinion. Right after the impeachment crap, many Americans were realizing, okay, we disagree with him, and quite frankly, we don't like some of the stuff he says or does, but man, this guy knows how to fix an economy, put American citizens first. This has always been Trump's, one of his biggest strengths outside of marketing policies. It's always been the policy themselves. Reduce immigration, you know, put America first, end these endless wars, necessary tax cuts, and well, 
growing the economy to the fastest rate in 50 some years. This is what always made Trump a formidable foe in 2020. And if COVID never hit, Trump would have won 2020 a landslide. This is something people fail to realize. Before 2020, most pundits were talking about New Mexico potentially being a battleground state. That's a type of political beast Trump was about to be in 2020. And if it wasn't for COVID and 2020 garbage with the election, Trump would have won easily. He would have won in a landslide for modern terms. He would have picked off a couple states like Nevada, probably Minnesota. Again, Minnesota, we just don't know with you know what. But COVID played a significant impact in Trump's, I guess you could say, downfall in the 2020 election. Again, I'm not denying stuff didn't happen. I'm just saying this version of Trump we're getting is the weakest version of Trump. And 2020 broke him. This is what I'm saying. I mean, he still has good po political instincts. For example, the ban and misinformation stuff. That's good. But he's more focused on this NFT crap than he is about policies. So before we end today's video, what would I change about Trump's platform policy? Well, number one, focus on initiatives like this, not this NFT crap. Nobody cares about this. Like, if this was an announcement to create a ballot harvesting operation, I would vehemently support it. But it's not that. Focus on policies. I'm sorry to say this, Trump. Move on from 2020. I'm getting sick and tired of hearing the same crap over and over and over again. Yes, bullshit occurred. But you got to move on at some point and look forward. Look, originally, it <coughs> excuse me, the stuff of 2020 probably did help Trump. Talk about 2020. But when you talk about it for three years after, it's what the Democrats did, and it hurt them politically. Nobody gave a shit about Russia for years, and that's what hurt Democrats in a couple elections. While Republicans, they found their new version of Russia. Instead of it being complete garbage, they went with 2020, and well, people are getting sick and tired of hearing about it. So stop talking about it. Focus on stuff like getting reigning in big tech, fighting censorship. Focus on government reform, which is something that helped Trump win 20, uh, 2016. That not enough people talk about it. He talked about being an outsider, draining the swamp, etc. Focus on uniting the Republican Party, pushing good candidates and actually supporting them. That is how Trump can be unstoppable in 2024. But currently, there's a chance he may not even make it past the primary. If this is what he's doing, not focusing on good things, but focus on NFTs, look, I am still supporting Trump, but if he doesn't change the direction he's going, I am have to vote into DeSantis if he runs against DeSantis. Now, if it's Trump versus somebody like Nikki Haley, yeah, I'm going to vote for Trump. But if it's somebody like DeSantis, somebody like Zeldin, or something crazy like that, if Trump doesn't change course, I may have to switch my support. You cannot keep doing the same crap over and over again. I just want 2016 or late 2019 Trump back. That's what I want. I will take early 2020 Trump. That's all I want. This is the version of Trump that I've missed sorely. I think a lot of people have. So hopefully Trump eventually turns his ways around, but he has to do it quickly because we're already in 2023 and we're already gonna have a couple candidates announce their candidacy for the presidential election. So hopefully tr Trump changes course and yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Godspeed to all of you.